Hi Smart Minds, this is episode 4 and our final episode in our RPG series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to code our enemies, lives, and how to add some sound effects and music. So let's get started. Alright, let's code our enemies. So on our starter project, we got this big raccoon and this skull thing. And if you want to add your own sprites, what you need to do is click on this actor folder and then you will get a folder called boss and then you get some of these bosses you could use and I just use this giant raccoon and the next are the monsters so we got a lot of monsters you could use any of these monsters all right let's start coding click on the big raccoon sprite when green flag clicked we need to set our scene to one hide and go to back layer go to x3 and y37 forever if else so if our scene equals 3 then we need to show else height and make a block called switch costume to show and switch costume and let's define this block grab an if else statement if distance to player is lesser than 70 then we need to switch costume to idle preview 6 repeat 7 it's at a small delay of 0 0.05 seconds next costume and if our costume number is greater than 30 then we need to switch costume back to idle preview 6 and else just duplicate this switch costume to idle preview we need to repeat 5 if costume number is greater than 6, the switch costume to idle preview. So let's just change this to 5. Alright, now let's test our project. And now you can see we got this big raccoon thing. And if we go near this raccoon, uh, the raccoon would start attacking. It's okay, now let's click on the skull. When green flag click, we need to hide. Make a new variable called skull health for this sprite only. We need to set skull health to 100 and make another new variable called id for this sprite only. We need to set id to 0. Repeat for we need to change our id by 1 and create clone of myself when I start as a clone we need to go to pick random for negative 148 to 112 and duplicate we need to pick random for negative 54 to negative 5 forever grab the if else statement If scene equals 3, then we need to show else hide. We need to wait 0 0.05 seconds and next costume. And now let's test it. And I can see we got these four burning skulls. So you could have any number of clones by just changing the repeat input. And now when I start as a clone, grab a forever if scene equals 3 and duplicate and if id equals 1 we need to glide 3 seconds to play it and grab a if statement grab a o so if touching detection if touching detection 
or if touching our big raccoon then we need to move negative 10 step and now just duplicate and we need to set id to 2 duplicate 3 and 4 and now you can see all our four skulls are moving together so to stop this we need to change this glide we need to glide 5 seconds if the id equals 2 glide 8 and if id equals 4 let's glide 10 you all the four skulls move in different speeds so now you can see we got no detection we could just walk through our enemies so that should not happen click on our hitbox right grab if statement duplicate the o block if touching big raccoon or skull we need to duplicate moon negative 8 seconds and now you can see we got detection you can always code the help so click on this help press sprite and we are going to use the tutorial from grid patch so when green flag click we need to hide and click on make a list called health and then we need to delete all of health and make a new block called health add input called health label of max offset y and input called y alright now let's define this block we need to add our x position to help duplicate our y position plus y and we need to add our health divide by max we need to create clone of myself then grab a when i start as a clone block we need to set our x to item 1 of health set our y to item 2 of health switch costume to grab the times operator 10 times item 3 of health then we need to set our pixelate effect to 25 and then we need to delete one of health delete one of health and delete one of health we need to go forward one layer show wait zero seconds and delete this clone and now what you need to do is copy this script to your big raccoon sprite and chain create clone to health make sure you change that when green flag click we need to set our raccoon health so let's make a new variable called raccoon health for this sprite only we need to set our raccoon health to 100 forever grab an if statement grab the end if scene equals 3 grab an o block not equals 0 so if our raccoon health is not 0 o not lesser than 0 we need to show our raccoon health of 131 and now grab if statement so if touching weapons and health then we need to change our raccoon health by negative 1 and now grab another if statement duplicate this and remove the not blocks we need to hide stop other scripts in this sprite and delete this clone and now you can see we got this raccoon health 
So let's add our help to the skull too. Just copy this block and this block to the skull sprite. And right click clean up blocks. Now we need to remove this. If seen equal 3, we need to make a new variable called skull health. And now just remove the raccoon health. We need to change our skull health by negative 1. Right click and delete raccoon health. And forever, when I start as a clone, if touching weapons and health, we need to change our skull health by negative 25. And we need to start sound hit. Grab another statement, grab O equals lesser than zero zero so if our skull health is equal to zero or lesser than zero then we need to delete this clone so for now just remove this start sound hit we need to put this on a when i start as a clone and now you can see our health bar is working so now I'm just showing you how to code our life. So click on variables and hide all the variables. Click on this hard sprite. When green flag click, we need to set our health variable. Make a new variable called health. We need to set health to 5. Switch costume to 5. Grab a forever a if statement equals 5 then we need to switch costume to 5 and let's show at the beginning so duplicate if our health equals 4 it's costume to 4 health equals 3 switch costume to 3 health equals 2 switch costume to 2 Health equals 1, we need to switch costume to 1. And if our health equals 0, we need to switch costume to 0. Grab O block O lesser than 0. And then we need to set our health to 0. We need to broadcast you lost. And then we need to stop this script. So if health is lesser than zero, make sure you fix it. So click on the hitbox sprite. And if touching big raccoon or skull, we need to change our health by negative one. Now you can see our lives are working and now click on the player sprite when I receive you lost we need to hide and stop other scripts in this sprite copy this to the shadow the NPCs the weapons and the save engine and now click on the text sprite when green flag click we need to set our ghost effect to 100 we need to show go to x0 y0 forever we need to go to front layer and go forward thousand layers and when I receive you loss, we need to switch costume to 1, wait 5 seconds, repeat 20, we need to change our ghost effect by negative 5. So okay, now let's test it. So let's add like one second 
and I can see our game over screen is working. So now I'll be showing you how to code our sound effects, music and thumbnail. So click on our backdrop sprite. When we right click, we need to set our volume to 20. And forever we need to play sound. Adventure begin until done. And when I receive scene 2, now click on the hitbox. We need to broadcast a new message called chorus. And we need to broadcast scene 1. We need to broadcast chorus. And we need to broadcast scene 1. And now duplicate, we need to stop all sound. And when I receive scene 1 duplicate we need to play sound dark castle until done duplicate when I receive forest grab if else statement if scene equals 3 then we need to play sound the KO until done else we need to We need to play sound quiet until done and we need to set our weapon to end. When I receive you lost, duplicate, we need to play sound curse until done and stop other scripts in this sprite. So okay now let's code our sound effects. Click on the hitbox sprite and if touching detection we need to start sound hit and hit and broadcast a new message called do in. If do equals y and broadcast another message called do out do equals n. So we need to broadcast do in and do out. Now click on the BG sprite. So when I receive do in, we need to start sound entering do, do out. We need to start sound exit do. And click on our skull sprite and we need to start sound hit. And now Finally, let's code our thumbnail. So click on the thumbnail sprite when green flag click. We need to go to X0, Y0, set size to 100. Set our ghost effect to 100. Go forward like 10,000 layers. Forever, we need to go front layer and go forward just add some zero so click on the backdrop make sure you grab the top other scripts and place it on all the blocks change this to scene equals two stop other scripts in the spread so our rpg game is working and if you want to make another awesome game like this make sure to check this video Oh, 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 oh.